In this video, we'll discuss how to create groups in your class. Creating groups is the first step in creating group activities. First thing we need to do is go to the People page. Now, click on the Groups tab. To create a group in Canvas, you'll first need to create a group set. A group set can be thought of as a container for groups. First, give your group set a name. Next, you'll decide if you want to create groups manually, selecting which students belong in which group, or you can have Canvas assign groups automatically. Let's first look at how to set groups automatically. To have Canvas assign students to groups, you'll choose either split students by number of groups or split students per group. The split students by number of groups will split students into a number of equal groups or as close as possible depending on your class enrollment. The split number of students per group will create groups with a certain number of students that you select. Let's walk through the process of having Canvas add students automatically and we'll choose the split students by number of groups. Now we have to decide how many groups we're going to have in the class. I'll say two. We see that there is a checkbox in which we can require that group members be in the same section. It is important to enable this option for FERPA considerations if you have a cross-listed class. Then there are some additional options um, regarding group leadership. Notice the circle with a question mark icon. If you hover your cursor over that icon, you'll get some helpful information. Click Save and we'll reach a screen that shows us that Canvas is working on creating the groups and assigning students. Generally, this is a fairly quick process. It shouldn't take more than a minute or two, uh, usually. Once it's done, it'll take us to this page here. We'll see that we have two groups now, which is what I selected. And if I expand the group, I will see the assigned students to the group. If we don't like the automatically generated names for our groups, we can change them. To the far right of the group, click the three dots. Choose Edit. And then you can change the name as desired. And you can also change uh, the limit of enrollments in the group if you want to. Uh, after you make your changes, make sure you click Save. If you want to manually assign groups, then you choose the Create Groups Later option. Click the Save button. Now that you have created your group set, you can start creating the actual groups. Click the plus group button, give the group a name. If you want to limit your group to a specific size, you can enter the maximum number of um, people in the group. Click Save. I will create another group. And now I can assign students to the groups. The easiest way to do this is simply dragging and dropping the students to the corresponding group. Now, if I expand the group, I can see which students are assigned to which group. And there we go. We have seen how we can create groups either manually or automatically via Canvas. And as a reminder, creating groups is the first step in creating group activities. Thank you for watching.